Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny. And in this video, I am going to talk about the second problem, Coenix and puzzle B type of code forces global round 14. Okay, so let's try to discuss this problem. Uh, that is, uh, we have been given uh, n identical puzzle pieces, and each puzzle pieces is actually a right isosceles triangle, as you can see in this figure. And our goal is to create a square with using these n pieces of this that is this puzzle pieces okay and the count of these pieces is given uh, to us that is n pieces would be given and uh, we are allowed to create and move the pieces around but none of them can overlap and all the n pieces must be used okay so this is going to be like turning point of this question that is all this uh, uh, puzzle pieces should be used and this puzzle piece is actually a right isosceles triangle and we cannot just uh, overlap one piece over the other and uh, can we can form a square using all the uh, n pieces that is all the n pieces should be used can we form a square or not if it if we can form the square print yes otherwise print no okay so let us try to understand how this square is going to be formed okay so you can see if this is an isosceles uh, right angle triangle you can see the number of distinct sides is, will be like always two this side and this side will be equal and this side will not let's say this has value x and this has value x and this should have value the y okay so let us try to form this square okay so i think this is okay so uh, we will have this puzzle piece you can easily see in the example the two types of squares that we can form like this one and this one okay so let us try to move further with this square that is uh, okay so let me draw it clearly so this will be a square like this one and there will be another square like this one. You can easily see to form a square of this side. Let's say this side, uh, this side will have the value called x. And let's say x equal to 1. Okay. You can easily see if we want to form a square of side 1 using this type of uh, arrangement. You can easily see number of pieces required will be 2. Okay. And if we want to form a square of this type. Uh, but you can easily see that uh, number of so you can see side length would be like 2 then how we can form the square you can easily see the square formed would be like this one like this one or we can also form like this one or I think uh, let us form like uh, this one okay so we will form like this and again this will be formed and again this one and again this one this is not actually square but you can interpret it and you can just uh, understand this concept actually what i, I want uh, what i am trying to understand uh, what i am trying to explain it okay okay so you can easily see this will be square of uh, side length equal to 2 like 1 and 1 and you can see these side lengths like the borders are like uh, uh, equivalent that is uh, uh, you can see if this is an isosceles triangle this side will always be like 1 1 1 1 1 and 1 because this is the hypotenuse you can easily say I am marking it with red color this will be hypotenuse for every isosceles triangle that will be like inside this square okay so you can easily see for forming a square of side length equal to 2 what is the number of uh, puzzle pieces required you can easily see number of puzzle pieces required will be like uh, 2 into 4 and it should be like 8 you can easily see for forming a side of square of side length one puzzle pieces required would be two required would be two and for side length equal to two uh, the puzzle pieces required is eight and if you follow the same pattern like if you try to find the number of puzzle pieces required to build a side length equal to three like this one or it should be like uh, this one and again the three pieces built over there you can easily see the number of uh, puzzle pieces required for side length building equal to three that uh, you want to build over this one also you can easily see number of puzzle pieces required would be like 18 okay that is the total number of puzzle pieces i'm talking about you can easily see if this is following a pattern we can easily find the pattern now how we can easily find the pattern you can easily see it is just following a uh, simple uh, that is the values are coming like using a formula called 2n square okay 2n square and how this is working about just try to put n equal to 1 you can easily see i am getting 2 try to put n equal to 2 i am getting 8 and try to put n equal to 3 i am getting 18 
okay so if the numbers are like in the form uh, num if the numbers can be written in the form of 2 and square our answer exists okay and note that i am just talking about this type of puzzle pieces arrangement okay this type of puzzle pieces arrangement we can also have another type of puzzle piece arrangement like this one that is where we are going to use side length equal to hypo, uh, equal to that of hypotenuse that is i am talking about the hypotenuse one okay so this is for the side length of this one and in this case we are talking about the hypotenuse okay for in this case you can see i will have the answer like 2n square that if the number can be represented in the form of 2n square i can just say yes my answer exists okay so let me try to just erase this stuff and i am just talking about now how we can build this uh, square with the help of this arrangement okay so i will have the arrangement like this one and this approach is going to be like pretty much similar to the that of previous approach okay so you can easily see uh, i am just trying to build this one so if we try to spot the uh, puzzle piece it should be like uh, like this is one of the side length this is one of the side length these two lengths are equal and this is going to be like hypotenuse what is the number of puzzle pieces required to build this uh, uh, this uh, square of side length each of hypotenuse let's say hypotenuse equal to 1 so you can easily see the number of puzzle pieces required would be like 4 okay so this is the number of puzzle pieces required can we extend this to build up side uh, to build a square of side length equal to 2 that is 2 hypotenuse i am just going to give it should be like this one okay so it is like this one you can easily see if we try to build like this what is the number of squares that is going to be needed you can easily see number of squares that is going to be needed it should be like uh, four square you can easily see because one arrangement is called, uh, is taking like four squares i will have four arrangements it will take four four square so i can just derive a general formula uh, you can also see for the side length equal to 1 of square i i will have the formula like uh, total number of puzzle pieces required would be like uh, 2 square and for side length equal to 2 i will have the puzzle pieces required is like 4 square and for side length equal to 3 i will have the puzzle pieces required would be like Six square and so on. That is, if you try to extend this one, you can easily see. I will have like uh, this one and this one, this one. It will require a three uh, six square pieces. Okay, so you can easily see. Uh, in overall, I will have like uh, two arrangements that will give us the answer. So I am just talking about the approach to solve this problem. If we have been given n and if my n can be represented as uh, in the form of like uh, two square, four square. 6 square and so on or n can be represented in the form of 2n square then i can say my answer exist print yes otherwise print no okay so for checking this case you can easily see try to divide n by 2 and just check if my new value x equal to n by 2 is going to be like perfect square or not if this is perfect square i can just e easily claim that yes i will print yes in this case and uh, this is done and let's try to talk about these two like uh, this pattern okay so just try to take uh, square root of this n okay so if i will take square root of n then i will have some integer and try to check if n is going to be like even that is square root of n is going to be like even then i will claim yes my answer also exist in this case and print yes otherwise print no okay so let's talk about the code now you can see there is an accepted code over there So if n is going to be odd, you can easily understand that my answer would be like no. Otherwise, find x equal to n by 2. That is, I am talking about this case 2 n square. So just check, uh, find the square root. If uh, if uh, my x equal to n by 2 is the perfect square, that is checking this condition. Yeah, if it uh, holds, then I will print yes. Otherwise, you can see I am just trying to check another condition. That is this one. If this holds this pattern or not. Okay. So if uh, I will take the value square root of n. and if it is a perfect square and this square root value is an even number that is you can see 2 4 6 8 is an even numbers okay print yes otherwise finally print no that if my n doesn't satisfy this relation that is 2n square and this pattern value then i will print no in this case okay so if you have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and i will ask the viewers to like this video share this video and do subscribe to our youtube channel for latest updates thank you for watching this video